Hello! This is going to be a relatively short video in a theory whereby I'm going to explain how to quickly and easily get kill uh, at the start here. Well, not at the start, but once you've got the airship, you're going to want to do some monster capturing. Uh, you're going to be doing that anyway, but particularly you're going to want... Which ones are they? You're going to want stamina tablets. I think it's stamina tablets. So this, that, no, something. You're gonna need stamina tablets, I'm pretty sure, or mana tablets, or something like that. And you're gonna go to Kilika Port. This is a terrible explanation, but just do some monster capturing, and sh you should have some items. Uh, and buy a bunch of these Tetra shields, or Tetra anything for that matter. They're 2200 gil a piece, so you're gonna need some base gil to start with. But then you're gonna go down to Customize. You're gonna find them. This is the quickest and safest way to get gil if you're not leveled. Which is why I'm explaining it. And you're gonna go down to either HP plus 30 or MP plus 30, which is apparently mana tonic and stamina tonics. Which you get uh, 99 of and 60 of for certain monster captures, which you're gonna be doing anyway, so go ahead and customize uh, those on there until you're empty or out of uh, tonics. And the other one, which I don't know if I actually have the items for at the moment, but the other one can be gotten from Kotos, or Kotos, from Monster Arena. I don't remember exactly which region it is, but I, it's a it's a region conquest, or whatever those are called. Uh, and he drops either 20 or 40 of... Yeah, I don't have enough. Of healing springs. Yeah, it drops them in 20 quantity or 40 quantity. And it takes, uh, what is it, 12 per SOS region. And you can plop those on there to sell those. That is a sustainable method as opposed to the method with HP or MP, MP plus 30, which will eventually run dry. Uh, the other methods involve fighting things like One-Eye in the Monster Arena, which drop uh, very good weapons, and they're relatively easy to kill. And then selling those. I actually have a few on me, so I can, I can uh, sell those. But anyway, that's the wrong button. We bought those for $22.50, and with a simple customization that is effectively free, because you get it for free, you either get $28,000 or $34,000, depending on what you put on there. And you can do that uh, 99 or 60 for HP or MP times, uh, so it's really easy, excuse me, really easy to do. Alternatively, as I mentioned, you can farm one eye, which drops um, miscellaneous stuff, really good armor. That, well, actually, I shouldn't say really good, but pretty good. So that'll sell for 6 to 12k or something. But he also sells triple AP weapons, which, as you can see, sell for quite a lot. So 67k on that uh, that triple weapon there. There's an all-rounder. I don't know where I got that from. Soldier's Armlet, he also drops those. Horn of the Ronso is something he drops. So, you know, 67k there. Soldier's Bracer is him. That's something I made. 16k for that power ring, but you can see You can simply basically fight one eye it costs 6,000 to fight him So everything you get from him and he will always drop something Everything you get from him should sustain that and so long as you're getting you know reasonable amounts of triple AP weapons like one every so so many fights That should sustain your gill and you can use that for bribing to then customize stuff for weapons and armor and whatnot But that's an easy quick way to get gill that's pretty much this entire video is what I was planning, but I guess I can go ahead and explain an easy way to get experience while we're at it as well. This is the generally accepted method for uh, maxing the sphere grid, or at least getting you all the way around the sphere grid and then having some to spare so you can start stat maxing, but uh, we need to go to the calm lands. Specifically, we need to go to the monster arena. This is like a three minute video, so I'm gonna go ahead and buff it out with some uh, EXP, EXP explanation. AP actually is what it's called, but... You're gonna want some items for this, or some weapons specifically. As well as some overdrive modes. There's two ways to do this. One of them involves Don Tonberry. So that method will require one of your three party members to have killed a lot of enemies, which none of mine have, so I don't use it. The other one is Cactuar King, which requires everyone have a comrade. It's simply, it's the easiest way to do it. So the, the weapons you need, and uh, 
Tidus in my party does not have a proper weapon, but the weapons you need are triple AP, overdrive AP, and double or triple overdrive. I put double overdrive because it's easier to get on there. So you can see that. Triple AP weapons can be got, as I mentioned earlier, for free from one eye. Well, 6k, which is pretty cheap for triple AP. Um, otherwise, you can buy Tetra items, or whatever you want to call these, four slot items, and put overdrive AP on them. That'll work, you know, in a pinch. It's not the end of the world if you don't have it. The other thing you want is to set all of them, as I mentioned, to Comrade. That one means they get overdrive. Uh, it's damage times 20 divided by target's HP for Comrade. Stoic is times 30, so it's a thing. But uh, you come here, you say, hello, I would like to fight some monsters. And you go into Area Conquest. There is Don Tonberry, he's a thing. But we're doing Cactuar King because I haven't killed enough people for Don Tonberry to work. And the basic premise of this is the same, except you don't haste Don Tonberry, you just attack him because he counters with karma, as all, as all Tonberries do. In this case, you haste him because we're waiting for his turns to appear because he doesn't have all that good of a counter. So we haste him, and he has two attacks. He has 10,000 needles, which does 10,000 damage, and he has 99,999 needles. Obviously the best is the 99k needles. That'll do maximum damage and give you maximum experience. And while you're here, if you feel like it, you can steal uh, chocobo wings from him, which are pretty useful. So you can actually max out your chocobo wings while doing this if you feel like it. But this is basically it. I forgot to mention you're gonna want items with Auto Phoenix. You're gonna want items with Auto Phoenix anyway, so making some Auto Phoenix items for this fight is not exactly a waste, although it could be if you end up getting some ribbon armor from Dark Aeons and then you have to remake it, but it's not the end of the world. You can always get more Auto Phoenix going. So just go into this fight, 99 Phoenix Downs, armor that has Auto Phoenix and weapons that has Overdrive to AP, and any additional modifiers that you see fit. You can also, uh, if you feel like it, to speed the process up, I don't actually know the mix off the top of my head. Let me see if I can quickly look this up. Riku Mix List. There are two mixes that you can do. It should be at the bottom of this list. Hot Spurs and Eccentric. That will cause the overdrive gauge to fill up faster. Uh, either 1.5 or 2 times faster, which increases your experience by that exact amount. So 1.5 or 2 times the experience. So you can speed the process up a little bit. And because I feel like it, I'm actually going to go ahead and show that. I think there's an easy way to do it. Or is it... Actually, this will do. So we're going to get a Stamina Tonic, because we have a bunch of those. And we're going to mix this Stamina Tonic with... What do I have a lot of? Um, out of curiosity, where is all of my stuff? Shining Gem? I got it. I got 99 of those, so we'll mix it with that. And that should cause it... It's Hot Spurs. Eccentric is Mega Elixir plus any of the special spheres, so defense, strength, magic, etc, etc. So what this has effectively done is now instead of 99k damage for the experience modifier, we're getting double that. So we're getting double the 99k. So that obviously will fill up experience very quickly. And sadly he immediately ran away, so that was a waste of overdrive. But you can see, after just a few hits, we got that many sphere levels, so... Basically, just do that a couple of times and you'll have 99 sphere levels. The easiest way to get um, spheres to actually go around is to fight Kotos and chuck a tonic at him. When I say spheres to go around, I mean these power, mana, speed, and ability spheres. Uh, you're going to need to get a lot of those when maxing the sphere grid because obviously there is a lot of nodes. I haven't quite maxed it out for Waka, but... You can see there's a lot of nodes, so you're going to need to fight Kotos numerous times and chuck stamina tonics at him. He will drop at most 40 of whatever you throw, whatever tonic you throw at him. Do I keep saying stamina tonics? 
I mean sphere tonics. You guys know what I mean. Throw a, a power tonic at him, he'll drop power spheres. Whatever. You're gonna you're gonna need to do that numerous times. He'll drop at most 40. If he drops two, that means you actually got the rare drop and turned dark matter into whatever sphere, which makes you really sad. But there's your quick experience method. The other one involves Don Tonberry. I'll go ahead and explain it, but I won't show it. You change whoever in the party has killed the most to stoic. You haste that character. Actually, you don't need to haste him. Auto haste would be better. Um, and you have them attack Don Tonberry. He will counter with karma, which is 100 times however many enemies you've killed in damage. So you have to kill quite a few, which is why I don't use it. Um, and that'll hit you for, at most, again, 100k damage, because that's the damage roof. And that'll give you the most experience, and your other two party members stay on comrades, so they experience when the main guy dies. So, basically it's the same as, uh, Cactuar King, except it dependent on you killing a lot of enemies rather than luck, because sometimes... In, in comrade mode, when you take damage, you get no overdrive, so sometimes he'll keep hitting the same person over and over with 99k, so the other two people will get a lot of experience, but that person will get nothing. So... It's not perfect, neither is Don Tonberry. If you've killed a lot of enemies, Don Tonberry is, without a question, a better setup, because it's guaranteed experience for everyone because of the damage setup. Um, but if you haven't, Cactor King is really all you've got. The other method is to run around in Omega Ruins, which is nowhere near as fast, so I recommend against that. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time when we do more things. Yay!